Hello everyone, welcome back to Key Locker. Welcome back to the desert. We have two finger legs people following us and we need two more. There's one. Hello. Can you follow me please? Shh, let's dance, baby. I'm here, I am slowly, slowly building up a backlog. So you, patrons will have something to look for, uh, to, to do. I, I am, er, I am, uh, very busy. Very, very busy. I am more busy than I've been since grad school because I loaded myself up with students to tutor. I'm a physics tutor, professionally, and I'm already countering, so... Now you're gonna counter me. <laughs> But you miss, because you're in the wrong spot. And then... After... So I gotta get off that spot. So after I loaded myself up with students... I can't go to that spot. Ha, ah, that was lucky. Dang it. The college I work part-time at... I am Nihilies! Said like, hey, you want to teach a class? And I was like, sure. And so now I'm teaching a class and I have tons of students to tutor. So... So uh, I'm, I have very little time to play games. However, it's still enough time to keep up with the channel, so... Still enough time for you guys. We've been here. Where have we not been? Yeah, so I collapsed and had a nap today. So if my voice is a little like morning voice, it is the evening, but I, I have sleep voice. I'll do my best. We're here in the desert. We've got finger leg people following us. Hey, look, it's the last one. My turn. Bam! All your EP, some LP. Oh yeah, you think you can... Uh, it's too early? Wow. Yeah, you're gonna counter me though. Oh, two! Dang. I'm not about to win, so I'm gonna... Eat one of these. And now I think I can... You're not countering, so here we go. Late! Dang, is that enough to get you to join me? Yeah! Yo, 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 yo! I have four of them. Glorious be the dweller of the desert as well as dweller of the stars. Saturn, the brightest! We can't get through here. May the gates open! Oh, I guess that was the quest. We wanted them to open the gates for us. Is this supposed to mean something? Or is it just bizarre character design? Either way, it's awesome. They're continuing to follow me. We're very happy to help. Anytime. Bye. <laughs> yeah, I should have just finished up last episode with that. Just because we were so close. But it is what it is. Should be trying to examine everything. Lustrous incremental noise detector, which generates slight interference with the others nearby. An antenna of mystical properties embalmed by the sands of the past, present, and future alike. Yeah, because the sands stay through the present and the future. So, this one is causing noise, but this one is... Or are they are they all canceling out whatever noise is here? Yeah, got all those without hitting the cactus. 
Info. Restore plug restores EP, static deals EP damage. Governed by influence programs. Got to figure out what influence is. When plugged, EP is recharged every turn at a higher rate per stack. This might be a might be an add-on thing. Like um the rook and that other thing. Static will deal light electric damage and move tiles every turn. You cannot contain raw electricity. Robots are extra susceptible to static. Throwing milkshakes at them will cause this effect. Oh. We can throw milkshakes? I didn't know that. All I know is that you can eat it. What is this? What? That might have been the old samurai the girl spoke of, but no fantastic sword at all to be seen. R.I.P. Ears. A long gone samurai was buried here. And as usual, I forgot what I was saying. Can I examine this antenna? A broken antenna is indistinguishable from a new one, as the sounds they emit are inaudible to healthy doppelgangers. You're bowing to the finger leg people. Long live the Nihilese with their legs made of fingers and beautiful smiles made of horrors beyond comprehension. But they're in suits, right? You can't see their smiles. These are suits, right? I cannot get past them. Good news is it looks like there's nothing there. Oh, this is a road. I thought it was a diving board, but that wouldn't make sense. Where would you dive into? Quicksand? Money! Let's, um... See if we can sneak past these guys. Keys! Battles also give us keys. An antenna detector which transmits sound through the oil waves. That guy will see me if I get out of here. Run! Okay. Made it! Oh, lucky! Can't examine that one. What are you? Dude, what is this? This looks exactly like the dog the dealer wanted. Eh? Am I having a fever dream? What? Hello, dog. You're so cute. So lovely. I want to take you home. Will you come with me? Ignore its dirty existence. Yes, this was great. Your skin is rougher than it looks, but you're still lovely. 8.5 out of 10. Is it a, a newt? Which ones are the ones that live in the desert? Newts or geckos? The salamander. The salamander has been added to your key items tab. <laughs> it's not a dog, Bobo. We're fighting a bunch of enemies at once. Okay, can we do it? I think so. I need some more speed stat. What is that stat effect? I wish I could move stuff and examine it. BAM! You hit me, I counterattack you for LP. Nope, it's counterattacking. You put a status on your own platform. Alright. Let's... It's gonna counterattack me, but let's just do it anyway. Yeah! It didn't counterattack me. Ow! I didn't even see what was happening. Well, too bad for you. I have an attack that, that ignores that. Dang it. Oh, way too early. And then <laughs> the rebound attack. Oops. No! Dang it. I pressed the wrong button. I have to not die for these turns. Ow! That. Never mind, we restart. I saw some mistakes I made.
Bam. Fully charged. Or mostly charged. There, I remembered. What does this status effect do? I want to know. It looks like it's probably good. Because they put it on the enemies. <laughs> Counterattack. Dead. I don't think I can walk there. I blocked it that time. Huh. The only way I can go is this way. A little bothersome. Man, this music! You're blocking. You have armor, too. Ow. I saw it, but I missed. Eh, I knew what you were doing. Let's go. Ah! But still. I'm doing it, I'm doing it. Oh no, you don't, you dare retreat. Yeah, you, you try to escape from me now. Yeah. No, I didn't know it was countering. Ugh. Okay, this button. There we go. Nom. Let's get it. Let's, uh. I mean, why not, right? It's a powerful attack. Oh, the armor. Okay, let's go for a powerful life attack. Ha! It was worth it. We have a lot of keys again. I'm gonna go level up. Is there a... The, mm, skill tree. I wonder if there's shortcuts. I almost like keyboard shortcuts. Using a controller. Shortcuts to get here. Can I unlock these? I think I just can. Uh, pole arm moves. I don't have a pole arm. Spaced array. Influence distance minus life resistance. Formation of body and mind that improves the effects of skill programs, life damage, and the cost of at the cost of physical protection. Uh, I don't know if I want to go for that yet. Um, what is this? Counter add on a life of humbleness. Rank one increased counterattack. Always counter while debuff. Load skills faster with AP on. Rank 3. Keep 20% of AP. I don't have enough to upgrade it. <laughs> so this one, I think it can only rank up three times total. Then it's a max. Do these have maxes? Oh yeah, 5 of 20. 2 of 3. Okay, let's we'll go for it. Nice, we've maxed the skill. Okay, and the arrow disappears. Load time average a rook. Let's do it again. Just why not? We should level something, even if we don't know what it is. Because we are getting more powerful each time. And that thing just sweeps across and almost gets ya. Oops. Now do I have to go back to Senpai Sama to complete that quest? I should I should check. Nope. Whoa! That's a lot. Let me get off of here. Uh, can I heal and then get off? Without the static? Yeah. Um, this one, I guess. <laughs> Too early, but counterattack. Right? Right? Why didn't I counterattack? 
I charged up a counterattack. All right, let's go. And... All right, now I have a counterattack, right? Perfect. No damage, counter. And no static electricity damage. Nice. All right, I'll take this. Overgrown antenna detector. An antenna detector? Does it detect antennae? Now I've been around in a circle. Um, what did I just pick up? Oh yeah. Might as well upgrade my stats immediately because I have no strategy for this. Game rewarding exploration. This one faces the endless ocean of flammable oil. This is oil? An ocean of oil? Talk about flooding the market. Are you the one from the quest? Hey, fellow biped, did you bring me the dry bones? No, not the one from the quest. Radio wave hearing antenna, ready to be recorded and rearrange that which is invisible. I didn't have any bones for you, but you look different. Statue? Who this? Tethys, the sunken siren, buried in sand disrespectfully. Does she have any clothes on? Hello, miss. Would you mind helping me scratch my head? It depends. Will scratching your head solve the real issue at hand? What is the real issue at hand? You tell me, then I might scratch your head. <laughs> Sharing my knowledge in exchange for maybes? I surely will not. Well then, but how will you feel after knowing you will not have your head scratched for the rest of your life? There's two solutions as I see it. But the two will lead to your own impending doom. If I scratch your head and go away, you'll forever think about that one day where your life was happier with a scratched head. If I don't help you right now, you'll never know what scratching your head would make you feel like, and the sheer curiosity will lead to your impending doom. I mean, inevitable doom. Which way will you go? To keep your curiosity and be bound to never knowing, or to know only to be bound to an eternity haunted by the truth? Hey, some kid scratched my head yesterday. The passers-by take care of me every now and then, okay? Just calm down, lady. <laughs> oh, here comes help. It's you. Satellite ahead. I'm out. Father, I did as you bid me to, but mother is uncontrollable. That's your father? Her hunger for doppelganger carcass has been insatiable. Well then, kill more doppelgangers for her. Their race is cattle for us, make, made to be used and eaten as we so wish. It doesn't hurt that they are delicious. But that is against the protocol. Your very existence is against the protocol, child. Oh, her too. Hmm. Her legs are not attached to her torso. I just realized. Correct. I am through of your own debauchery. A daughter of a Deva slave and an Asura satellite. However, I was permitted to exist by the Emperor himself. If Mother continues on this path, I will have to report her wrongdoing. I cannot turn a blind eye to the Emperor's wishes. Just because I'm paranoid, I'm testing that I'm recording my sound. Okay, there we go. I have recorded episodes before, or parts of episodes, where the sound wasn't working. Just had to check. Report on her wrongdoings, you say? We'll see about that. He has a flying carpet, too? You came here with a purpose. Will you take me to Tethys? As you wish, father. 
That's... Was that guy... Mimus? Mimus the satellite? Or I guess a, a deva? Or something like it? I guess I can head to the temple now and maybe find some more answers about all of this. So those are words that I didn't know. So is she the, is she the satellite? Have we seen her? I think we might have. Deva and uh, the other word. I have to look those up. I did the deed and I'm here now. What's up? You have access to the secret temple. I must tell then what I meant before. My miss is the Deva who's under the control of Tethys. Or I must say, he's her lover. Tethys the satellite dates that big head that was stuck to the floor just now? She's got some interesting taste at least, I'll give her that. Love is a mysterious, complex, big-headed beast, child of sand. What's this about a deva, though? Never heard someone calling a satellite that. Have you not learned anything about that at the Institute? Not at all. They don't really use the satellite's old names. I'm assuming that's what this is about. Well, for starters, Asuras are the major satellites, like Pethys and Titan. Asura, that's the other word. The satellites that orbit around them are called devas. Some of them found something called an orbital resonance. Most of them would be vulnerable during the orbital resonance, but only then. Tethys and her deva can form an orbital resonance, so I hope you follow. Mimas is Tethys deva, and he is bound to the desert up to now. It seems Titan has changed his imprisonment sentence. What does all of this have to do with the key locker? Mimas seem to be the protector of the key locker, and they are changing that, or at least they aren't holding a firm grip on the key locker anymore. The key lockers are said to hold music inside. There are music boxes. Each of them has a different melody to them. I believe that to find the truth about this world, you must first find the key lockers and form something called a song with the sum of its parts. But that's unfortunately all I know about this artifact. If the satellites or orbitally resonate near you, this might be the only chance you'll ever have to end their reign over Saturn. So, astronomical fact, when, um, when planets and moons have orbital resonance, that means that they rotate with a ratio to one another. So, the Earth and the... the, the meh. The Earth doesn't have orbital resonance with the Moon, but the Moon has orbital resonance with the Earth. It is tidally locked. That's a kind of orbital resonance. The planet Mercury has a two-thirds resonance, I think. I have to look up exactly, but that means that at, for every time it orbits around the Sun, it ro rotates two-thirds times. And that's not an approximation, it is an exact fraction, and it's consistently two-thirds every time. Whereas most orbits like the the earth's 24 hour day like it's not a resonance because it's not an integer number of days per year we have to have leap years or we add a day into the year and then we have to we have to do extra things to that where like we have to take the leap year out every hundred years and then put it back in every thousand years or every 400 years or something like that just because because um there's no orbital resonance but like with the moon, the same side always faces the Earth. And with Mercury, it's always rotating two-thirds per year. Anyway. Wait, statues. Mimus's sentient eye is blocked. All lies may pass. Oh, because she's... Oh, no, no, the eye... Okay. I thought she was just sitting on a rock, but it's, it's the guy's head. You just now realize she wears a bikini bottom, very accurate to the current weather. The sandstorm? Temple of Rejected Gods. It's Jupiter! And another, I mean, well, it's, it's textured like Jupiter. But this is supposed to be Saturn, so it's not Jupiter? Or maybe it is? 
Again, science is not allowed in this game. These legs got some fancy tan on their bones. <laughs> I, I don't think bones tan in the sun. I think they go the other way. I am the detective alligator, the one and only that can crack this case. I believe this is where the Shadu and the his warrior hide. The Shadu and Lamasu are the male and female versions of the same creature, if you haven't heard of this yet. He is a hybrid of a human and a bird, or a bull, or lion. He is the head of a human, but the body of a beast. The warrior who is friends with such a godlike creature must be fierce. Be careful, friend. The things these characters say when strangers walk up to them before running away. <laughs> Sparkles. I wonder if it's going to turn out that these sparkles are like hidden cameras or something. Skill programs. Not skill programs, skill programs. Analog and digital. Load on attacks and defenses. That's what immediately came to mind when I, when I uh, after I, well, a anyway, I don't know how to end that sentence. Continuing on. So this is like the, the rook. So analog and digital are the two types. All right, got it. Either user or target, up to three stacks. Unlocked from the skill tree, these programs apply either positive or negative effects. Digitally, right after attacks, or as an analog effect, which will last for a few turns and affect anybody within their range. All tile effects have a polar opposite effect, which will deny both when applied together. All right, so don't put opposites together. Bronze crystals aren't as desirable. They envy the Jade Sisters, shining in the eyes of all beholders. Bronze crystals. Yay, bear your golden soul before me! No. It's statues of Mimas. With one earring between them. Opposite sides, I don't like that. Attach, I challenge you from the unseen. I can, I know where you are though. I have a memory. Unless you moved. I mean, the tile is still, the tile's still there. Early. I didn't know it was gonna become visible. early. Uh, but I get to counter because of the rook. Yes. Ah, you can't move. Late. Drat. Alright, now this would be this would be my most powerful one. Early. I almost won anyway. Eh? There's a second one? Gotcha. Yes. Yeah. Okay, that wasn't too bad. I'm facing the wrong way. Did I just get a stat? Is that a status thing on this thing? The guy's there. Okay, you can see what tile it's in based on its glowing. I feel like that almost defeats the purpose, right? It's got full EP. I have no EP. Let's change that. That was reflexive. Eh? Oh, that's status. Okay, let's end this. Never mind. Huh. Yes! <laughs> So many counterattacks. Got me through the battle without taking AoE damage again, or status damage. Do I need to heal? I only have one shake left. I'll try without healing for now. He looks at you. Oh, oh no. 
The statue of Mimas, the Scorched Sentinel. He is looking at me. I don't like it. These crystals walked here on their own so they could have a better look at the stars. No legs, only determination. These crystals... Okay, it's the same. Look at the planet and the satellite. So nice. It's down here. I am fast. F-62 Pender Swap. The, the, the heck? Um... I can, I, I can, uh, I can add it here. What does it do? It reduces the EP generated? Or is, is that good? Is that adding? Is that downloading? Is that the symbol? Downloading 66 EP? Retaliation? Is it a... Is it a defense one? Oh! Oh right, the, the slot that I put in determines whether it's attack or defense. So it uses 66 EP, right? I'm confused. Hmm. Cleave range. I know what that means. Cooldown, very slow. Resonance, life re resistance, max EP. I don't know, I'll just put it there. It's a skunicorn. Once worshipped, now what's left are only the bones of the Forbidden Devas. The ancient Deva legs were said to run a thousand miles before they ran dry of stamina. Gold crystals. Milkshake! I need it. I was trying to, to not be noticed. All right, we got a win. Hopefully there's only one shark guy. Is it cranking itself? Its arm is a crank. All right, I'm gonna hop right here. And then, yeah. Then they're gonna counterattack me. Or not. Yeah. Ah, uh, that was that was a. <laughs> I didn't mean to counterattack, but I managed to do it anyway. Okay, that guy just turned invisible. I am about to die. Oh, that was lucky. Huh. So many counters. Alright, let's go for... What is this? Cool. Am I countering? It seems so weird that my skeleton... ...appears. I'm not countering. <laughs> so weird that my skeleton appears, but I take no damage. You know, I know, I know she's the enemy, but the, these statues are really, really attractive. Electric fireflies float around Tethy's hands in hypnotic fashion. A huge petrified omelet! Delicious! Alright, I'm sure for every joke I get, there's going to be 10 jokes and 10 visual humors that just go over my head. Ruler of day and night, atone us from our sins, O mighty Saturn. Attorney of the stars, bring us judgment, O mighty Saturn. I feel like Saturn was a character in Virgo vs. the Zodiac who was mentioned but never appeared. And some of the other planets too. Bronze Crystal from the Bronze Age of the Bronze Tube. I'm gonna just do this real quick. 
drop the armaments, infidel. You're surrounded, there's no escape. Well, guess what I just remembered I have. Yo, that's unfair. Oh yeah, you're, you exist. Nihilee is helping. Do I get to choose what you do or do you just work automatically? All right, but I just remembered I have these. Still early. I feel like I'm waiting every time. Yeah, get off of that. <laughs> All right, you stay there. Made it. All right, I'm I'm gonna. Oops, I missed. So I'm defending for my teammate too. I'm going to. Do another one if I have any more. I have no more. Uh, how do I? No, go, how do I cancel this button? Okay, how do I um, generate EP? Is that this one? No. Steal EP. This one. Okay, right. Ah, I missed. But I'm still almost full. I still I gotta do the action commands for everybody. Yay. Yeah, you move there. And everybody is taking turns and everybody's moving. I think I'm about to win. Late! Dang it. Not about to win. Late! Dang it. Might be about to lose. Perfect. Okay. Huh. So I can use the D-pad for these. Uh. Why do you keep moving? I need to be perfect on this. Stop moving. You could have hit him with the counterattack. Late again. It's still not dead. I need to get I need to take care of these. But first, I need to eat. Nom. Got him. At least one. The other one's still here. Early. Now it's dead. Yay. Whew. That was a battle. Too much oil juice. Wonder what that danger meter is. I don't know what it is. Is it if I have too much money, the authorities come for me? Ah, oh, snap! I did perfect? I'm not great at rhythm games. Alright, now we can go through here. That's just, uh... Oh no! Ew! Look at all these statues! Oh, also, there's the pretty ones, but they're evil. Eyes on the prey. Mimas and Tethys have a lot in common if you think about it very hard. <laughs> there's two of her in each statue because she's sitting on its head. Tethys is regarded as a lover of plants and poisons. Legend says it was Tethys who invented the whip so she could torture Mimas for his lack of etiquette. 
This statue was made in honor of Mimas opening the very first University of the Rocky Lair, dedicated to learning the arts of squid washing. <laughs> that is the kind of randomness that appears everywhere in this game. That is a sign of a genius writer. Headless husk of a fallen fighter of justice and fame. Exquisite anatomical proportions. This looks like there'd be a bridge if it weren't for the same detail over here. Oh man, look at the planet in the background and stuff. Last remnant of an undying devotion. Chained to the ends of the earth, these legs have, have ran through many problems. Incorrect tents have run. Mortally wounded by stepping on the spikes. Ha! Ah! True legacy. Maybe these statues were earlier prototypes of golems of old. Maybe not. Divine legs of legendary speed. These hips don't lie. The ancestors never had any chairs to sit on, so their legs were firmly fossilized years before they died. I, I can get through there. Can I get through here? I, can I jump? There's the, the button, the, the thing that I keep forgetting I can do. Transparent illusions of grandeur will never satisfy a true satellite. This is in contrast with Virgo, where I wouldn't go anywhere without constantly jumping. No, I wanted to examine other things. Looks like the key locker Rui described. I'll try kicking it. Yeah. Somehow, it didn't work. But it hurt my toes. I wonder why it didn't work, though. It always does. Oh wait, yeah! Almost forgot! Didn't Rui give me this? This old technology here? Something told me that was magical safety. Better get the shock out of here, quick! Can't examine anything, it seems. Do I have a timer? I don't see a timer. Oh, is it boss time? Doppelgangers! You are to be taken to my master as of this instant for your crimes against the Satellite's institution. Kidnapped by a mysterious man on a flying shadow as the... the achievement. Hmm, who could this be? Carlotta. Dealer, the guy with the Shadoo is attack is acting again. Doppelgangers are being smuggled. Dot 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 and I send it. It's time to act, get to District 9 quick. Fine. And it's time to save. He doesn't want to look at the fans. You crane your hands inside the large dump container out of curiosity and something grabs you. Same text. All right. No. Wait, what? I don't think I examined this one. Cutting edge technology bringing cutting edge discounts. It's technology with a cutting edge. He says nothing. Could I not go this way last time? District 9. I guess so. <laughs> Detective Crows? All hail the new leader of the revolution! The Sandman! He cannot lie to us or deceive us or be corrupted. For he has no mouth, he is a Sandman. He is made of sand. 
You're electing a new leader already because I lost one fight? Eh. Carlotta, what's the deal? You sent me a very alarming message. Yes, about that. I have intel that the guy with the flying should do has been smuggling doppelgangers. First the prince, and now this individual with a flying ancient creature. Life in the slums has never been this exciting before, and I despise excitement. They informed me that your sister was among them, but I don't know what she looks like, so I can't confirm. The satellites are said to be involved. This guy and the Shadu are taking them to the abandoned factory. I was trying to reach out to Bobo, but there was interference in her signal. She's definitely one to get entangled in this kind of mess. I guess I missed my opportunity to go back and complete any side quests I was doing. Take the elevator here in District 9 to reach the factory. You gotta go fast. We don't know what might happen when the satellites are involved. Can I see my quests? I still got quests. Leader of the Vultures. I, I don't think I've had the opportunity to do this one yet. I didn't bring this back. Um, this is the new one. Okay, that's all. Maybe we can. This sandboy has a terrible clericonical head attached to it. Clericonical. Is that is that the, the word for it? I like it. Sandman. More like sad man. Watch out, dude. You don't want to get in trouble. Looks like the new leader's vice president. <laughs> Can I jump this? I thought this was a pit. <laughs> Yo, dealer. I promise I'll pay you next week. Promise. Someone's got to keep those organics in place, you know? They keep on growing. Too much oil juice. We own these items collectively, even when we're apart. The music, again. Every time. I thought it was the rabbit again. No, it's just this guy. Dressed to impress. It's having God or nothing. I must subvert the form. If you put your ear very close, you can listen to the song of the stars. Holy chirps! This is really techno crazy! Can't examine it. It is a bridge that I can go under. It's a key. What does this sign mean? It's just red, yellow, and green, right? It's a stoplight. But it goes... Well, no, it, it's got the wrong pattern for a stoplight. Man, Electro Bear going all out with this soundtrack. What is this? Hey, you, pretty civilian, help us here, right this instant. I told him his fashion sense is an absolute disaster. Not only a disaster, it's an absolute offense to street style. It's just ugly chic. This is no ugly chic, this is just ugly. Now come at once, you must bear witness to this crime. Uh... Uh, what does this mean? What is this choice? Um, uh, to see... Are we talking about somebody else? I thought it was talk she was talking about the walrus guy standing right there. I guess we gotta see it, right? Deceive her. That would mean walk away, right? Like, pretend that we have something to do? I don't know how to interpret this choice. Let's do it. You should be ashamed to call this chic. This... This outfit of yours is just debauchery masks his art. 
You two are just full of envy because you can't be as cool as me. Uh, I guess it meant agree or disagree. <laughs> I couldn't tell. Two pals just hanging out up on top of a bus like they do. This place is cool. Again, how do you come up with these color pellets? They work so well. This tire has seen an entire galaxy before resting in peace here. I wonder if that was just one-off text or if this was like a joke in Virgo vs. the Zodiac and I would get it. Probably just one-off. Always carry oversized reserve tires in case of the vulture apocalypse. Now I'm wondering if this game and Virgo are a shared universe or if it's just a different world. I think maybe some implications from one of the endings of Virgo would suggest this is a different world. But there are a couple of shared characters. Okay, I can get over here. You have to keep your self-confidence, kid! That's the only thing the government can't take away from you! A few other, uh, similar things, I think. I'm trying to think of them. I'm like, my first thought is the government tank can't take away your free will. But then, in a cyberpunk world, maybe they can. This sign won't stop me because I can't read! Ha 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 ha! Huh? What you looking at, fungus? Ah, just you deals. How's it going, huh? The friends this guy has, I tell you. Hey, just passing by. Boba's got herself on lock again, going to find her, I guess. You reminded me of my good old days with her when we were still together. Like, as a couple? What did you think, Mr. Deal? Fernando Rodriguez. A sp rather specific name. Wasn't my box the smallest? Oh, maybe we've seen this character before. Maybe that's why it's specific. No, Beto's box was very tiny. I disagree. I haven't seen it. G Jorge Ronaldo. Our roundness comes from pure hydrogen. It does? I hope you don't breathe oxygen, then. Welcome to the Small Boxes Parade. Today, we welcome grumblers from all over the zone to participate. Who will bring the smallest box they can find in the trash? Starting with Jorge Ronaldo, showcasing a regularly sized small box. <laughs> We've seen that one box last parade, so I will disqualify Jorge Ronaldo. Zero out of ten. Now for Fernando Rodriguez with a smaller box. It's very beautiful, crafted with nooks and crannies. I give it a 6 out of 10. Oh no, if I had a mother, I bet she would be disappointed in me. The next, uh, I'm just going to pause on that line of dialogue. <laughs> that's, that's like, like sad, but... This uh, has another sadness that counteracts the first sad. <laughs> the next candidate is Logan with two tiny boxes. Smaller than most boxes out there. These can barely fit anything inside. Eight out of ten. Eight is a big number. I'm happy. Finally, Beto comes next. Empty handed. I will disqualify Beto too. No, no, wait. I brought my box too. It's just so tiny you can't even see it. I brought magnifying glass to see the box because it's so tiny. Magnifying glass is not small box. I will still disqualify. This is unfair. Hmm, is that so? What does the audience think? I say give him a chance. His box is clearly there. Just look through the glass. The audience has spoken. I will take a look. Oh my, such a small, tiny box. The smallest I've ever seen. I can't fit a single coin inside. It's entirely useless. 10 out of 10. You won this week, Beto. 
Yay, thank you. What surprise? It's five Macross, one from each of us. Very happy. I'll buy us all ice cream at Icy Shop. How wholesome. You gotta examine everything, because you never know what might have text. A recyclable attempt to block traffic and attract customers. What is this design? What is this design? I, I, I don't like it. I don't like it. The scrapyard zone, do you think it can rise up to the skies with our overlords, the satellites? Defy gravity, deny social mobility. I think this choice was in one of the trailers. I love, this is why I love the writing. I wanna explore a little bit more. <laughs> Did not think I'd be making that choice, but I'll be back. It's a tiny door. Wait a minute. Look at the size of these buildings, these floors compared to me. I am two stories tall. What is that watermelon thing up there? We demand electricity for all for free. Cyborg and robots rights. Rights for the stray kids. Immediate electricity for all for free? Something tells me that would be difficult, even if you had the government in agreement. Rights for the Sandman is written on this little Sandman's head. Just because they're immobile and their facial expressions never change, doesn't mean they don't feel the same pain that we do. I think something else means they don't feel the same pain as we do. I'm too cool to hold up a sign. Ah. I gotta stop laughing like that. I don't think it comes through well in the recording. The icy borgs are gathering here to strike on strike to voice our intentions. No law. Yeah, let me know how that goes. All right. I'm ready to defy gravity. This jump. While running, the jump is pretty far. All right, let's go. Defy gravity. Probably should have saved before I did that. The poor thing thinks itself able to fly when they can barely walk. I'm only trying to get to the factory here, nurses. I have nothing to do with the satellites. Look at these graphics again. Has a seriously unique art style. We're really going up. Passing skyscrapers. I want to I wonder if I can get a feel for how this world is. How this world is built. Cuz we we we've clearly got tiers. So like and, and it seems there's no ground at the bottom. So yeah, I'll, I'll like again, the same question as before. Are we on an artificial structure? Are we on one of the moons? It seems the moons are people in this universe. So I don't even know if we, if standing on moons or planets applies. All right, how much time have I even been playing for? Illegal parking. It's saved, Dinosaur. One of the recurring characters. Can't get to. Just chilling there. I want to know if he has text. What is this? It looks like a shackle on the wall. But this isn't a prison. Do they... Is it a, it's a factory, right? Do they shackle their employees while they work? Watch the Satellites Gala, now live on Saturn TV! Can't get up there? 
So much oil juice, but I'm not a robot. I don't have any robots. I guess I can't get up there. It's not a place to up to get. Electrolyte tank connected to the floor. Electras, they can't be siphoned from it. So electrolyte. Is that related to electricity in this universe? Oh, no, no, no. It's L-I-T-E. So it must be like a brand or something. All right. How many of these do I have? Where does it say? I'm at left three. Okay. Um, I have plenty of money, so let's buy uh, uh, a couple of these. And use them. What is this? Additional barrel. Oil juice capacity. There we go. I just drank a barrel. And now I can hold more oil. That makes sense. Max EP by one. And I got a couple more of them. Two of these. Tungsten bar. Is this one... Uh... Resonance by one. I don't know what that is, but it's a plus one, so I'm eating it. Spoiled shipment of sugar pills. Expired, but still addictive. Sugar pills is the drug of this place. A mystery box full of clownery, like tax reports. They put it here in the factory? Tired tire. It's the plastic sandman in this material world. This tire happened to roll down the hill, but it's too flat. Do not put too much pressure on this tire. Spare it from expectations. I feel like there's a spare tire pun in there somewhere. But it, if it is, all I saw, all I figured out was the word spare. The graphical issue with this sign, I'm still in front of it even when I'm behind it. Sugar factory will make your dreams sweet with no added preservatives. Recycle today for a better future or die. Uh, nothing to see here, just doppelgangers hung until their skin and hair has fallen off. Oh, hey, it's you! And you landed directly on top of me. Oh, no! I have slaughtered an innocent! Police! Police! Take me into custody! Police! I am criminal! <sighs> Shut it, bot. I'm fine. Just a scratch. I guess you're a working bot now, huh? Very talkative. Where did you come from? I left you down. How did you fall on top of me? Unless this is a looping world. Very talkative. The way I love bots to be. I'm happy. Beep. I am liked. E e e e e. I'm being ironic here. I forgot you old models can't understand this level of dialogue prowess. I'm assuming Ivy sent you here. I don't like bots. I'll have. You know that. You two are a robot. New model. Beep boop. No, I'm not. I'm a cyborg. Doppelganger model. I'm at the cutting edge of Saturnian society technology. I only live in the scrapyard temporarily. We're working to rise up. Now, you're just some relic from the past that my obsessed with vintage bot sister is passionate about. I'm heading to the factory to get Bobo, and then my business here will be over. You, wait here. I don't want you following me around with this disgusting oil stench of yours. And of course, he follows us. Not very obedient, are we? I am programmed to follow the owner. Bobo is owner. Beep. Uh, all right then, but keep your distance. What class will Rocket be? Juggernaut, I guess I should probably read these. I accidentally, wait. <laughs> Scrolled while scrolling. That's surprising. 
Offensive class, the heavy weapons detachment from the old Pioneer cast. Ruthless, disciplined, and unstoppable. The Juggernauts may be driven mad by the roaring forces that their helmets are meant to contain, crushing whatever is in their way. Left to rot by the church, Juggernauts now make a living by piracy and whale hunting. It's the same text as before. Look at that design! It's so cute! Samurai, I've already got a samurai. Hacker, I've already got a hacker. Let's actually read this again so I know what Bobo is about. An ex-member of an outdated military cast, now roaming the streets as vigilantes, mercenaries, or bounty hunters. Although distant from their past, they still keep their training and defense-focused combat style, committed to setting up counterattacks, avoiding damage, and taking the lead. They abandoned the old ways and their code of honor. Now the only order they obey is the natural order of the streets, where the last warrior standing is the law. So... That's why we have so many uh, counterattacks, I guess. Hacker. And dealer is a hacker automatically, I think. I don't remember choosing it for him. Let's read this. A cyberspace criminal who uses the key-based network as a means to navigate through confidential and unauthorized data. Tricksters of the neural core, they transfer the cyberspace interface to the real world to conduct electrical wizardry and overpower their foes in indirect ways to remain distant from the front lines. They have evolved past the need for morality. All right, so this is defensive and this is support, no, ranged. Ranged and support. Sequencer, defensive class. Just alternating offensive and defensive. Sequencers skip the rituals to receive blessings of the whale directly through their deeper connection with music. They make use of the device's application of software. This is the the white mage one, right? Uh, uh, I'm trying to see if there's anything gameplay related in here. May use catalysts for whale power. We haven't seen anything about whale power. Still have no idea what that means. From large hammers to quick daggers, they may heal and buff themselves and their allies as well as quickly move through the grids. I think we might, um, this is just heavy attack. I think I might want a, a one of these. And one of you mentioned that if I wanted like the cannon route, I probably should have chosen sequencer for Bobo. That makes sense. Uh, yeah, I, I don't, I don't really know what the natural ones like, it looks like... Yeah. None of these look like a natural class for Rocket, so I guess I'll just go with this one. Oh, uh, I can, I can, uh, right. Change the, the, the... Gotta look through these. We got two colors. Confusingly, the bottom color is on top and the top color is on bottom. Am, have I gone through them all? What's the original color? Is it... This is the re original color? And I'm not one for customization. None of these are popping out to me. Green and green seems like a bad idea. But it's like either shades of... Various shades of green or pink. Or a brown, I guess. But the same for the top, though, too. Uh, that's kind of sore on the eyes. Is this the original? Yeah, I feel like I, I'm not, nothing's popping out to me. I think this is the original. I think I'll just go with it. Alternate story paths. I have no juggernaut. The process of converting waste into new material can only be done with you. Start today or... Oil to be used by the doppelgangers to cook delicious glass cakes. Delicious glass cakes. Oil for bots. Nutritious and delicious. Strawberry flavored. To the save up. Is this forward? Is that a door? It is. Hill factory. 
I guess there are pill factories in real life. Can I not go down? Oh. It's different, but... Yay! I thought this might be the way forward. That is weird to put climb as the B button. As this button instead of this button. Don't think I missed anything. Can I examine this giant cog that appears to be above me? Somehow? Thought it was off the edge. Okay. We're entering somewhere new. I think that's probably a good time to end it for today. Thank you all so much for watching. I am so interested in this game. I love the art. I love the music, the story, the fantasy, the vibe, everything about it. It was absolutely worth the wait. I am stoked to keep playing it. So thank you all for watching, and let me know what you think in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more Keylocker and other awesome games. I'll see you next time. Bye!